Hi, I'm Deb Smucker. I'm a factory representative for the Lux Fifth Wheel. And today we have my, one of my very favorites, which is the 42RL. And this is actually an open unit that we have, which we don't see all too often. Uh, it's also in a new paint scheme that we did uh, that we haven't named yet. So if you have uh, opinions on what color you should call it, let me know. Um, this actually has gray stone, uh, a pearl white, and gold. Uh, the 42RL is one of our more popular floor plans. And, but what I want to do first is go around the outside and give you a little bit of a look. This actually has four slides. Uh, super slides on the other side. It has two slides in the top of the unit and we'll go through that when we go around it as well. Um, we'll start out that one of the biggest features about the Lux that I love right now is that everything that we build, uh, no matter whether you pick the Lux Gold, the Lux Elite, or the Toy Hauler, everything we're building has the same superstructure and that's so critical because nobody ever has to feel like you settle. So everything has the three inch thick graphite infused foam walls so this wall is three inches thick. You'll see no movement on this. Um, everything has the 12 inch I-beam frame, enclosed underbelly, three forms of heat in the underbelly. Everything has the 8,000 uh, 8, pound axles at a minimum. They have H-rated Goodyear tires. They have disc brakes. They have 17 and a half inch wheels. Everything has a constructed floor and a constructed roof, which means we've kept 16 on center, uh, beams in the floor, uh, in the roof, our, our rafters are aluminum, five and a half inch arc. Again, 16 on center, some of them even closer to that. Um, those are all very important features. Everything is full body paint, uh, no matter what you buy. And our full body paint, we say, has two coats of clear. Um, it does have a wet sand cut and buff. Uh, it has, um, of course, then the clear coats and even the name, which is a big deal because a lot of them have full paint, but the name then will be a decal that will go on it, which over time is going to weather and, and wear. Uh, our names are even um, painted on, so we have no decals on our units whatsoever. doesn't matter what you buy. Uh, another big feature is we always have at least the, the more ride uh, pin box. Uh, which is an upgraded pin box. Um, it has the grommets inside to take the chucking down, up and down. Your plate can take pushing forward and back. So it's going to ease the wear on your truck. It's going to ease the wear and ride on of the trailer of the fifth wheel. We have the equalizer leveling system and you can see pretty clearly here that one of the features of that is how big the legs are. These legs are larger, stronger. We can put them at five degree angles. So what happens with that is it stops a lot of your side-to-side -side motion when you're inside. When you get to see one of these and you walk around in it, I have people come in all the time and they'll move around trying to see if they can get a lot of movement. And that just makes our units very stable. Um, in the underbelly that we were talking about as well, um, oh, and the pads, I'm sorry, the pads on the front leveling system are 12 inch which are extremely large. On the four back legs, they are 10 inch octagons. So unless you're in like field conditions, you really most of the time won't have to put anything else under them. So they're very strong, very big, uh, and able to support this unit um, easily. We always keep our hydraulic pump um, exposed so you can easily get to it. So if you have a problem with a leg, each leg is also color coded. So up here you'll see bands on our valves and those color coded bands are going to match the legs. So what makes that nice is if you have a leg that has a problem, but you don't have to drop the whole underbelly and everything and track it right away. You can actually identify which valve it is and work on it from there. Um, our batteries are all dropped and mounted in the floor. We can do the 212 volt, which are standard, and we also offer the four AGMs, which are very popular as well. This one is generator prepped. And with our generator prep, we do something that a lot of them have stopped doing, and that's to include the firebox. A lot of them do the transfer switch, and they do the remote switch start in the front, or in the unit. We keep the firebox. And the reason a lot of them got rid of them, these fireboxes will collapse because they're tin or metal. We actually attach another piece of aluminum that's filled with wood to the firebox to keep it strong and so now not only will it not collapse you can actually lay stuff on it it's not going to move and this firebox is an expensive piece to try to put in after the fact so we keep that in our prep 
We also do this tray, which has really been huge to a lot of our clients that have come in. And that's because our inverter, instead of being mounted on the back wall up and down, where you would have to lay inside this unit in order to get to the bottom to, to be able to reset, we mount our transfer switch, we mount our inverter on this tray, and this tray is double-sided welded, attached right to the frame. It's going to go nowhere. These are bolted down. Now you can get to the end of your inverter easily if you ever have to uh, reset it or use it or do anything to it. So we try to keep everything, I call it as frustration-free as possible in a unit. Um, so we make all of this down here very easily accessible for you. When you go around to the sides of the unit, over here is where we have our docking station. We also, this is our panel for the equalizer leveling system. Uh, this has a lock, of course, so once you have it set up, it can be locked up. We have 40 pound LP tanks, one on each side. In here is our docking station on the off door side. We have a light in here, so if you're setting up at night, it's easy to see. You have all your release valves for your holding tanks, your low point drains, your fresh water, your uh, black tank flush. All of that is right here, easily accessible with a light in your outside shower. Also, back here, we have these access doors. And these access doors are very important because what's really nice is once you hook up, you now can get in here and you can actually see behind the docking station to know if anything has over the course of travel shaken loose, you don't have any leaks, you can see everything from here. Right here is easy access to your water filter. Uh, your water pump is right down here. This one has the Arctic package. Uh, that's very popular with most of our clients. So the Arctic package um, will add heat pad, an extra heat pad to your fresh water tank. It will insulate all of your water lines like this and it's going to put two 35,000 BTU furnaces in the coach as opposed to two 20s in an Elite. So that's part of the Arctic package that we have and like I said most of the people do this. Also if you look back in through there you can see we keep this very clean. Um, it's easy to look through. You can see it's not just a mass of wires and a mass of insulation. So that's a nice feature and we also have access doors on the other side as well. This light switch in here runs the light switch inside there and then you have these lights, the accent lights. And you have a large pass through storage with your rubber diamond plate and your divider wall. One of the things I always like to show people as well is the doors of our cargo areas and our doors are very thick, they're very strong, you don't see them wobble, you don't see them move. Um, and what I like to do, and a lot of people come and they do it, because they've seen me do it, but when you close this, if you just listen, you can hear how solid that is. That is almost like a bus style door. And so it seals, it's tight, um, it's solid, and it's gonna stay strong for you. Uh, this one has the Truma On Demand Hot Water Heater. Uh, which is also a very popular item in our units. Um, this is one of the extra storage compartments in the Lux Elite, uh, an area where you can put like tools, boots, gloves, things that you might need when you're traveling uh, or easy access to. Some people put compartments in there, put um, uh, tubs in there, small tubs for their sewer hose. I, you can pick and choose what you want to use it for. We have that one here. And then as you go on back, and as we talked about with our axles and wheels, we are always 8,000 pound axles at a minimum, H-rated Goodyear tires, automotive disc brakes, 17 and a half inch wheels on everything we do. On the Lux Elite, which this is, you've got the Morite IS suspension, which is a totally independent wheel suspension, the best suspension, one of the best in the, in the market. So on a unit of this size, it's going to give you a really smooth ride. Again, going to save your truck and your fifth wheel. If you also notice our trim work on here, this is all metal. This is metal. This is important. This is not plastic. Um, also, over the top of the wheels, you can't see it right here, but over the top of the wheels, um, underneath the coach, is metal. And that's so if you have a blowout, it's not just going to go into the floor of your unit. This is not just going to break off. This is metal. Um, where we have our screws and things, we have them covered with our trim work so that they're not just exposed to rust and, and be a problem. 
We have another compartment back here, which would be another storage compartment unless you do the power cord reel, which most people will do. Um, so you have this compartment, power cord reel. If you don't use power cord reel, some people just store their cord in there. All of our windows are frameless, dual pane windows. We don't use anything that's not dual pane. We also, um, in your ladder on the back, you can see our paint. We also have our new backup camera uh, that we're offering, which is very popular to a lot of people now because it actually has four cameras. Um, it's actually not on this one, but I wanted to mention it because the new one is so much more attractive to a lot of people because it has two side cameras, a camera over the door and your back camera. So when you're going down the road, if you turn on your turn signal, you'll be able to see what's along the side of your coach. So that's something to ask your rep about when you call in. And it's on our, our option feature as well. This is another storage compartment in the back. Again, just like the ones on the other side for just extra storage of uh, whether it's tools or anything that you need to be able to have easy access to or maybe you don't want in your pass-through storage. And if you notice, one of the things I love about our paint job is that the name on everybody's unit is kind of unique because it's always going to follow their paint scheme colors. For those of you who will uh, attach possibly your truck color to it uh, or something like that, your scheme looks very different because the, the names are always done in one of the accent colors. This unit has the optional patio awning because it also has the outside entertainment center. So you have your radio and DVD player here, speakers that run this television. This is an option, again, with a heavy door so that it can be locked up when you're not using it. Power awning that comes out. We have another awning on this one. Uh, you'll always have another one over the door that goes forward because of the extra slides. This one goes between the two slides. And then there's another storage compartment. Just like the ones on the other side and then the back of this unit. Um, also at the back of the unit, you will have a gas quick connect uh, for LP if you want to carry a grill. This has the outside radio that runs these two speakers up here, power this. And why I like that is because you can run it from the outside. So if somebody walks up and you're talking, you don't have to run inside, shut down the radio and come back out. It's all powered from out here. I was just trying to hit some of the high points of our build. A couple of the other bullet points for me on our build is our end caps. And our end caps are very important because with all of the slides and with the end caps, in most and a lot of the other companies, they have almost no insulation. What's really uh, unique about our walls, being that graphite infused foam, the graphite infused foam will not accept moisture, it's closed cell, it will not mold, and it will not break down with movement, where a lot of the white foam over time with movement is going to break down. Um, and so what we have is the graphite foam. This wall, as I told you, is three inches thick. This wall is three inches thick, and that is so important. This wall is two inches thick, but still with the graphite infused foam. So still has a really strong insulation factor in our slides, because once you open up your units, now most of them have four to six slides, you lose a lot of your R factor in a lot of units. Also, the roof on our slides are insulated. Astrofoil, household insulation, then we do the uh, 3 8 plywood and cover it. So they're very well insulated on the outside. The underbelly is enclosed with polypropylene and it has a layer of astrofoil. And then it has thick layers of the household insulation. What they do that's really unique about ours, under all of our holding tanks, we have straps so that they are um, supported. If you ever have one that would slip off the rails, um, they won't go far because we have metal straps under the holding tanks so that they can't. We have straps over the top so it helps keep them strong and if they would start to bloat can kind of control it um, so you won't have the problems with your tanks. In the underbelly we have all the heat runs and our heat runs are independent so there's a register on every run and wh what that means is we don't have just aluminum runs where we drop registers in. Each one has its own heat run, each register is independent. It, most of them come out around the island and the baseboards 
When you have the Arctic package, you'll have two that will be in the floor, and they'll be right in front of the sofa. That's the only time you'll see registers in the floor. So in our underbelly, we have radiant heat. We have heat pads on every tank, and we have a two-inch heat duct that goes in to the underbelly. So when your furnace is running, you also have forced heat. So we have three forms of heat in our underbelly. Then they go around that 12-inch frame. They line it with astrofoil. And then they take the time, because we are not a mass-produced coach, uh, they have the time to go around that, and they actually pack pink insulation in there as well that stops a lot of con uh, conduction of hot and cold into your underbelly, because this is all about keeping your coach uh, climate controlled. So by doing that, it stops a lot of the conduction in the underbelly. When they build the floor, they will do a layer of Darko, which is a vapor barrier, layer of astrofoil, pink insulation, your floor joists, 16 on center, 5 8 plywood, and they're going to wrap that Darko up around the plywood. It's going to hold insulation up against your floor. And that's important because now your floor is going to stay more consistent and it's going to be heated from both sides because you've got forced heat underneath and you're going to have forced heat on the top. So those are some of the key points, the sides of that. Also in our front cap, in our rear cap, that's a big deal for me because a lot of them don't have any insulation. If you would if you ever notice when you might open another coach and you would feel a temperature change when you open the closet doors in the front cap. And in our front cap, we actually do layers, uh, we do a layer of the uh, astrofoil and then they do layers of the pink and they actually have wide tape because you cannot pack it or lose our R factor. So they have wide tape that holds it in place um, several locations uh, throughout the cap that will go clear across before they put the cap on. Then they will take a layer, a uh, sheet of Darko, again, which is a vapor barrier. We attach it on the roof of the unit before the roofing material comes on. That's draped around, and it actually comes down around the front of the cap. It's attached, and now that's going to hold insulation in place. It's now a wind barrier, a vapor barrier, and the third layer to the insulation factors in our front cap. So not only do we have insulation, we actually have three layers of insulation in our caps. So that's a big deal to us. Um, it helps, again, with the climate control on the inside of our coach. That's kind of the, some of the high points. Um, I can get a little carried away with it, uh, of the uh, build of our coach. And so now we'll go inside and I'll show you some of the features. So now we're inside the 42RL. Um, I love this coach. Um, this coach has great kitchen area, seating area. Uh, the upstairs is one of my favorite parts. But I want to show you a little bit about, like I said, this is a standard build open unit uh, that is still for sale. So we have uh, features that we can also do inside this coach. but. On our floor, we have hand-laid tiles. These are all independent tiles. We have different types of flooring uh, that you can put on. But the nice thing about this flooring is if you have one that gets damaged, you can actually warm it and bring, uh, bring it up and put down another one. You don't have to take out the slides, release the island, and replace all the linoleum. It's, it's piece by piece. So most people that leave will ask to get a few extra pieces to take with them. So if they have any issues, they can take care of it. Um, this is a flush floor slide on this side. The slides in a Lux Elite are about seven and a half, seven feet tall. Uh, they're a taller slide, which is what gives you the big open feel inside a Lux Elite. The Lux Elite also has soft touch walls, um, a vinyl wall, which also helps with insulation. It helps with the quietness of the coach. And it's one of the things that people notice a lot when we go to do our uh, meet and greets and things that when you open and shut the doors, you'll tell a big difference because our ceiling to floor is 99 inches down here. Um, we don't use much carpet, so it could get very loud. And with the soft touch ceiling, the soft touch walls, it keeps it very quiet. This particular unit has the buffet feature because of the outside entertainment center. You can also get the buffet if you don't want the outside entertainment center. You don't always have to get the outside entertainment to have this feature. The, one of the features about this that's really nice is you have this area where you can set things. You have a table that can be for two. It also will release. There are two leaves that come with this table. If you put in one, it would be about this far. That's where a lot of people leave it all the time. 
and if you want to go longer you can go ahead and add another leaf and I think you've probably seen the video where four of us sat around this table and played cards uh, to show you that four adults can easily sit here and one of the reasons for that is if you notice there's no pedestal and that's a big key feature to this because with a freestanding table you always have a pedestal in the middle which makes it a little more difficult to set around and to move your chairs around there is no pedestal here so it's very easy to sit at very easy to use you also and you've probably seen a lot of the videos um, where we have done it you also can take whatever countertop color you pick um, it's an option on the on the build where you can make the top and the table your solid surface countertop color which is really nice because people tend to use this as their cup place when they're sitting in this chair so it's nice for this to be solid surface it's also nice for it to be solid surface because if you have food you can set your bowls and your extra food set up here so it's not sitting in the center of your table we had a gentleman who just called in a little bit ago and he wanted a little bit of extra footage so I'm going to let Ed do it. This is the slide that he was very uh, much in question about. This particular one has two rockers in it. Um, we normally would do theater seating in it. We just try to change it up once in a while for people to look at. But you can see you have a lot of room here. We have enough room between the buffet and the end to do a 68 inch theater seat. Um, so there's a lot of space there. So we have options in seating a lot of times also with Lambright where we can get smaller profile, we can get bigger theater seating. So we have a lot of options to make this unit personal for you. Um, in the back, <laughs> this one having the outside or having the Arctic package, you can see right here, that's where you see the two registers. That's the only time you will see registers in the floor. If you don't have the Arctic package, you won't have any registers in the floor. They'll all come out around the island and out the baseboards up in the, uh, the top. The reason that's a big feature is some people like to upgrade to different sofas that may not be high to beds. Um, you have the area here if you needed to, to put a queen size air bed, aero bed down if you ever had guests stay. One of the biggest features about this space is this huge space is now a great area for you to add color, to bring in a rug, put it down. You know, when you're tired of it, you take it up. Um, uh, it has a, a big space. You don't have registers all along the floor that you have to worry about stuff dropping into, pets getting caught on. Uh, and also, because our registers, as I was telling you, are attached to each heat run, when we run registers back here, the heat comes from the, from the furnace all the way to the back. They don't dissipate as they come down the heat run, so we keep heat back here. Uh, our entertainment center on this unit um, is and you're standing it's standing in like where you would be sitting so you can see you have a great view of the TV um, from this unit it's in the side we have of course the storage um, behind the television uh, that's great for books for things that you may want, want everybody to see DVDs if you still do that all of that can be stored back here and this is also very strong so you can actually set it so you can watch TV at the table. Um, you don't see this TV wobble. We don't have to put straps across it when you, uh, when you go down the road. It's going to lock in like that and stay. We use the sound bar for the sound system. Um, this one has the fireplace with the two cabinets. Uh, you've probably seen some of the videos where we actually have changed up the fireplace a little bit. Um, but still, you have the fireplace. Fireplace does put out heat. It's great for atmosphere and if you're just in that cool zone where you really don't want to run your propane it will put out a lot of a lot of heat and if you do heat pumps you can actually heat this unit with electricity instead of using propane so that's a big feature as well there's a lot of things that you could do in the kitchen um, my favorite things about our unit and this, it's same in every unit you use or every unit that you would purchase is our cabinetry is all done at the same location um, we have some we have the my favorite drawers and the reason these are so important is they are solid wood you have no pressed a lot of times you'll see solid wood front but when you look at the sides you will see pressed wood or layered wood and it'll be thinner on the back you would see a lot of pin nails and stuff to hold it together if you're looking here you can see not only is this dovetailed but he actually then sands it down and it's sealed and that's just a big deal and this in the bottom 
is not fiberboard or wallboard, it's wood. And then our drawer glides, if you notice, you don't see them, just like you wouldn't see them in a home. They're underneath our unit. And that's important because it's going to give you more strength here. It's also keeping the width of our drawers. Every single drawer that we put in, there is nowhere that we use a different drawer than this. So if you're looking in the pantry, if you're looking in the bedrooms, if you're looking uh, in the bathroom, they will all be this same drawer. We have nowhere that we skimp on our cabinetry or our drawers. All of them are soft touch clothes everywhere. This is one of our favorite drawers um, and they usually, we haven't put it in this one yet, but we usually have the, uh, uh, the utensil separator tray in here that you can get uh, that will come in it actually in the Elites. Um, just great storage. This one has the Fisher Pica dishwasher. If you're going to use a dishwasher, this is the one to use. I've had many, many people over the course of many years that I've done this um, back when I didn't even have a dishwasher in my house and I would ask them, do you really want that? And all of them have said, only if it's a Fisher Pica, the people that were in this type of coach. And it's because it's water efficient, it's deep, so you can actually get enough in there to make it sense, to make sense for it to use, to use it. Um, it also is, it has its own heating elements, it just does a good job in an RV. Um, and so to find one that really works well in the RV, it's always been, for as many years as I can remember, the Fisher Pica. And this will also go into a lock mode uh, that you can set it on so when you're going down the road you don't have to worry about that drawer swinging open, especially if you store some stuff in there while you're, while you're traveling, which a lot of people will put stuff in drawers when they travel. And then you have our deep sinks. Uh, stainless. We have some options on sinks and so you know if you're not a stainless person you can ask your rep. She knows what, uh, what the other options are uh, for our sinks. This is our new faucet. Um, easy to use. Can actually swing it around. Uh, the sprayer is on the handpiece. This now is attached to this so we don't have the issue that we had on some. At one time if you were if they were mounted on the side we had to be sure that everything would stay tight. So we went to this new faucet we also went to new lighting um, not too long ago where we put in the pendulum lights, but our pendulum lights also are stronger and heavy duty. Uh, we had to look for a while and if you notice they're not real long and it's because we want to keep that, that the rod part of it shorter so it stays strong so we don't get momentum with them moving. So they've traveled, they travel very well, they have a beautiful look, they brighten up your kitchen and that's in the Elite product. In the 42RL, you have some really nice features on this, and one is the kitchen. 42RL has a longer, bigger countertop island. So the island is bigger in that. Um, you also have a large area here. One of the things, you have a double pantry here, which is just huge. And these are adjustable shelves. So you can make this work for whatever you want. If you're carrying some appliances possibly that you want to be able to sit in here, you can move all these shelves up or you can take a shelf out if you wanted to. Um, so this is very versatile uh, and beautiful. And we have lips on all of the shelves. So it's not just shelving where things can just fall over into our glass. Um, so you have lips on all the shelves as well. And they're all wood. None of them are fiberboard. Some people, if they wanted to, you could actually, if you're a person who likes more counter space, we could actually make this a single pantry. And if we made this a single pantry, then we can bring the countertop over if you wanted to. You already have a great deal of counter space on this unit. This unit has a 24 inch residential stove, which is awesome because you don't have an RV stove. So in this, you have, a, you have two racks. Uh, I prefer the 24 a lot of times just because of preheating uh, for it. Uh, if it's just for two people, this is plenty big enough to use and I keep my counter space. If you wanted, this has enough space in the slide to go to the 30 inch, which would just center it under the microwave. So you would lose about another six inches on each side. But it gives you a big oven if that's what you want to have. But these are residential and that's something you don't see in very many RVs. An actual residential stove. You don't have to light this by hand. It's, a, it's one just like you would have in your house. And then of course you have in this one more drawer storage. We actually have drawers here. Again, if you noticed, all solid wood. Just like I said, we don't use any drawer anywhere else that's any different. 
solid surface countertops, solid surface, or excuse me, a residential backsplash, glass backsplash um, that you we put on all the units. This unit then has huge storage up here. You have side storage beside your microwave. You have storage down here for big appliances. It can be down on the floor. Um, that you can put in if you wanted to change some of this if you said I really don't like that kind of storage I prefer to have drawers. We can do a bank of drawers there Okay, that would be a special build But it's something that we can do to make this unit personal for you and make it work for you This is another pantry and this is this is a pantry where a lot of people will do a lot of optioning on and but it comes standard wise it has a deep, deep drawer in the bottom, so pots and pans, maybe potatoes and onions. I mean, it's all, you, you'll come up with things to unit for. Then it has two uh, regular drawers. It has adjustable shelves, again, so you can arrange them the way you want them to be. Some people will take this, this particular pantry, and they may take all of that out, and they may turn it into a broom closet, a place to hang some jackets, a place to put a broom, a place to put a mop. So, again, or a place to mount a, a Dyson type. We can put an outlet in there. So we can kind of make this storage area work for what you want it to. Um, but this is the way it would be standard. And then we have another shelf or another cabinet up on top. Again, a deep, tall. If you wanted a shelf put in there, we can do that. We have them over the refrigerator. Nice thing about this floor plan, this unit's closed up. You can come in. You can still get this door. It would be this door because this one, I think, I'd have to open, close it up. You might be able to get this one open as well, but you have to get around it. But you can still get into the refrigerator. And you would still have a little bit of counter space here if you wanted to make a sandwich or you wanted to uh, put something together to eat. Um, if you stopped and just wanted to stock the refrigerator before you go into the campground. And also remember that all these slides are independent. So you can just take one out just slightly if you need to so you can get into this as well. So the kitchen on this is just one of my favorites, this whole living space. Going upstairs, um, this one still has the multiplex. I'm sure you've seen some videos where we have the in-command system now. This one has the multiplex. So the, it's run, uh, there are these panels all over the unit. Some of them will run the ceiling fan. They'll run different lights. They Almost all of them have the master on and the master off. So that's a nice feature to have. Your thermostat, one of the things that's really unique about our coach, this unit, triple axle is going to have three airs. So we are uh, still a true dual zoned unit. So one air is going to run the front, two airs are going to run the back, the downstairs. And that's important because a lot of them will tell you that they have dual zone systems because the thermostat's dual zone because they have multiple airs. But in ours, we actually have, they will still have a racetrack. And so the ductwork will go the whole length of the unit. In ours, we have ductwork downstairs, we have a break in the ductwork, and then the rest of you have it upstairs. So it actually is separate. So if you want your bedroom to be cooler, you can turn this one down. It's not going to affect the downstairs. And because our doors are all solid core, if you close them, you actually can have dual temperatures. Okay. Um, just to listen to this, we're going to go into the bathroom. And the reason I love this area, this actual floor plan is, when you come up the hallway, and say you are a couple that may have occasional guests that stay with you, um, it's always a big deal. A lot of people want to have a half bath, which is good as well. But if you don't want to use that space for a half bath, you can, on this unit, you can come up the steps. You can come in the bathroom from the hallway. We don't have multiple doors that are going to hit each other. We have a, a pocket door in this one. And if you listen to this when I close it, it is so solid. These are all solid core doors. And, and my people that come in, they always kind of laugh at me. But that is such a big deal to me because you can hear how solid they are. Say you come up and you want to go into your bedroom, but somebody's in your bathroom. You can go into the bedroom through this door. So you are not held captive by somebody using a bathroom. And if you want to, also, we'll walk into the bathroom. When you come into this bathroom, you actually have kind of an L-shape effect. So you have your shower and your stool are over here. You have a corner sink here. In your corner sink, 
Uh, it is the molded sink, uh, all solid surface. You have some area on both sides to set things. We have an uh, outlet here that's functional. You have your lighting. You have storage in your medicine cabinets. I did that wrong. Behind here and over here. Then they have, when you walk through here, you have your washer and dryer right here. Bifold door, so you don't have two doors sticking out that would make it difficult to use. They did a bifold door, so your washer and dryer is in your bathroom where it should be. If you notice, our flooring is the marine grade flooring, so this resists water, it won't mold, and it doesn't stain. So makeup and that type of thing, it also has some texture to it, so if you take a shower, you don't have to worry about slipping uh, because there is texture to it, and this is also what your washer and dryer is on. This part of this slide is your linen closet. And if you see, again, we have wood, wood shelves, adjustable shelves, so you can move this around for towels or whatever. If you're going to put your laundry soap in here, however you want to configure this. We have drawers down here that are great to have for like socks, your stuff for your, uh, your hair brushes, all of that. So this is actually part of your bathroom closet in this slide. If you're in the bathroom and you have guests, you do not have to go out into the hallway from your bathroom. You can enter your bedroom from this side of your bathroom. That's a, that's a really nice feature. You don't always have to go out into the hallway to go back into your bedroom. Again, we have a solid core pocket door. So say you do have guests um, or someone is sleeping later. Um, you can close this pocket door. Now your bedroom is private and you can still get out through the hallway. If you have guests staying, you can close this at night. They can come in and use the bathroom. They don't feel like you're in tr they're walking into your bedroom where a lot of them, when you come up the hallway, you feel like you're looking right into your bedroom. So this is all very private. But when you don't have guests, which is most of the time, now you have a bedroom suite feel. So here you have a big closet for clothing. We have a clothes rod on the inside. We have a shoe tray on the inside. We've had people that have done some reconfiguring to this as well and to make it work. But we have a lot of hanging space there and space for shoes. Your bed on this unit goes north to south, which is unusual. Usually your beds are on uh, in a slide. So the nice feature on this is it takes the bed clear to the front. So I have a lot of walk space here between the bed and the dresser. Um, you have your control panels for your lights up by your bed. You have nightstands. You can also take this to a queen size bed if you would like. Um, and then you would have more walk around space and bigger nightstands. You have storage up on the top for things that you might want to keep. Books that you read, magazines, uh, t-shirts. You still have your storage under your bed, which is a big storage area for extra bedding, for uh, boots, for inclement weather clothes, clothes that you don't wear all the time, um, you know, a safe. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with this storage, but it's huge. And it's very easy to get to because of the amount of walk space that we have right here. You know, a lot of them will put extra slides in to get the, the space that we have already here between the bed and the dresser. So this is then your entertainment center in the bedroom. Again, storage underneath here. This is great. Shelves are great for like your t-shirts, your hats, um, all different kinds of stuff. So we can, again, configure this to the way it works best for you. But this is the way it comes standard and gives you a lot of stacking space. Then the second closet is over here. And this closet is where we put your bank of drawers, where we used to have up in the front. So these are very accessible. Again, all solid wood, same drawers we just talked about. They're all soft clothes. So you have four drawers. You have storage up here um, for whatever hats. You can, you'll determine what you want to have go in there. You have hanging storage and shoe rack there. You have hanging storage and shoe rack here. Some people will take one of these and they'll turn them into all shelves. So there's just a lot of different ways to make this unit work. 
but as I said when you don't have guests and you leave the bathroom door open you have a bedroom suite feel it's very easy for two, two people to walk around inside this coach and make it functional and again this is going to have a separate the air that runs the upstairs the bathroom and the bedroom so you have your adjustable vents um, and you can make this a little bit cooler because we have doors uh, all the way around it so that kind of summarizes uh, the 42 RL maybe not as summarized as it should be probably a little long but it's one of my favorite floor plans and I and I hope you liked it if you have any questions about it please call us ask for one of the reps we'll be glad to walk you through it uh, anything you want to see closer we'll be glad to get you more pictures but this is the 42 RL Lux Elite thank you